Gentle Giants invited me to their studio to take a look at some of the San Diego Comic Con exclusives. And I'm going to take you with me. So let's go. Yay, this is Tanya Tate. We are here at the Gentle Giant headquarters and it's just right before San Diego Comic Con. I'm so excited. I managed to sneak into this building and I've got to speak to Chris. Hey, Chris. How's it going? I'm good. Thank you for letting us come today. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for coming by. So tell us, what's your position in the company? So I am the marketing and customer service coordinator. So I do all the PR, social media, community building, and I get to talk about this cool stuff. So you are the expert person that I needed to speak to today. I'm one of the experts, yes, definitely. <laughs> we like this. So this room itself, th tell, tell me about some of the equipment behind us, what we can see. So this is about 85% of what we've done for the last 15 to 20 years at Gentle Giant LTD. So this ranges from one one fourth scale statues to one sixth scale, one eighth scale minibus, bookends, you know, desk accessories, and the licenses range from Star Wars, Harry Potter, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, Pan's Labyrinth, you know, everything underneath the sun. Everything that we all like to collect. Okay, so we're here on the table. We've got some San Diego Comic Con exclusives. So these are all. Um, we're revealing each of these every day. So, so come San Diego Comic Con, these are going to be on the booth for everyone to be able to come and see. Yes, they will. Be. Uh, we have our Superpowers collection, uh, which is part of our Jumbo Kenner line, where we take the original three and three quarter inch action figures that came out in the 70s and the 80s and the 90s, and we scan them and then blow them up and then put them into this retro action figure packaging. So this is Batman and Superman that are the first shot, which is a single color test promo uh, retro action figure. So. And how many of these have you got available? And how, how many have sold already? You know, we do single issue limited run. And actually, um, I think these are limited to about 200 to um, 250 pieces each and they've sold out on the internet so you'll probably only be able to pick them up at the show so you make sure if you want to get your hands on these you have got to get there at, at the beginning of each day and line up yes there's going to be a lot in each day we won't sell out the first day but if you do want one of these exclusives show up early your your booth's going to be one of them with those big long lines that are just wrapping around every year it's a line up until sunday it's a line so be there you know send a friend you know send you know somebody that can stand hang out and look at cool stuff and you know just be ready to you know have your money and get in there and get out so some of these they could buy online so do they have to be a member of your club yeah so we have a premier guild membership and it starts um april to april each year it's eighty dollars to sign up and with the PGM membership, you get one free gift every year, and you get the um, opportunity to buy exclusives that you won't be able to get if you're unable to go to the shows, such as Celebration, WonderCon, or Comic-Con, or New York Comic-Con. So if you are a collector, this is definitely like 80 bucks, and you get a free gift. And these gifts, are they like exclusive? Can anybody else get these gifts or only the members? Only the members. So we usually do three to five gifts per year. And if you buy the PGM membership, you're the only one that can get those gifts. So they are definitely collectibles that you do not want to miss out on. No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> so sign up. Exactly, sign up. And they can do that on your website? Yes, at GentleGiantLTD.com. Great. So let's move along. Tell me a little bit more. What else have we got here? So we've gone jumbo with the Secret Powers figures, and now we've gone to the micro size. So the awesome thing about 3D scanning is that we can take that digital data and blow it up or shrink it down to whatever size that we want. So jumbo, we got micro, and we could do full-scale monuments if there is a market for it. Right now, uh, we've done full-scale monuments of our Star Wars canon line. And I got to see some of them outside. Pretty rad. 
And a lot of people buy them, put them in their man cave or their lady cave or, you know, their comic book shop. And they're actually a, an awesome piece to have in your home. They definitely are. It's like it's one of those eye-catching moments when you walk into the house. Oh, yeah. It's like, what is that? Is that a Boba Fett? Oh, my God. I had one of those this size. Now it's this big. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. A lot of fun. Um, so moving on down is Captain Phasma in minibus form. And this, this is one of the lines that we're actually most known for. Not many other companies actually do minibus anymore or as well as we do. Um, I think Bowen did, uh, had a good Marvel line, but we also have a Marvel line. And our Star Wars minibus have taken off. And that we have um, pretty hardcore collectors when it comes to these pieces. And so Phasma is definitely going to be one of those pieces that's going to be flying off the shelves and you'll definitely need to get on um, LTD, uh, GentleGiantLTD.com or, you know, get in line at San Diego Comic-Con for this. I'm going to come and see your booth. Well, you know that I'm going to come and see your booth anyway. I'm going to be at San Diego Comic-Con and I get, I get to kind of walk around, see, see some of the cool bits of the show. I'm going to be getting there for the Wednesday evening for the yeah, premiere. Come yeah, come by. We'll, we'll all be there hanging out. Talking about cool stuff. I will. And tell us a little bit about this. So this is part of our new animated line. Uh, we've done animated Captain America, um, Iron Man, Thanos. We've done Spider-Gwen. Uh, we debuted Deadpool. And this is our Comic-Con exclusive Rocket Raccoon. This is cute. I have to say I like this one. <laughs> it, it is pretty cute. A lot of people have been asking about it already. And we haven't solicited it just yet, but we're going to reveal it through Marvel.com. And um, it should be selling out just like all of our other con, con exclusives. You know, I've got a feeling every single one of these pieces is going to be gone. By the, by the end of that show, you are going to have nothing left. I hope so. You know, I, I don't want to be lifting, you know, a whole bunch of stuffed boxes back onto the truck to bring back to the office. You know, I want everything to be sold out and all the collectors be happy. You know, everybody get one. And, you know, hopefully I can grab a couple of these too. Yeah, that's that's the thing, isn't it? You see all this cool stuff and do you got to wait in those lines as well? or You, <laughs> you know, I... I don't, but it's, it's the thing of, you know, I'd rather have the collectors buy first, and then if there's something that's available for me to pick up, that, that's when I'll pick it up. You know, I, that's I cool. don't get to go behind that many lines and, you know, pick it up myself, and, you know, I, I'd rather somebody else that needs it more than I do. So w you collect a lot of stuff yourself. What's your favorite thing that you've collected from the Gentle Giant collection? Um, I have an awesome Thanos mini bust and a brown wolverine minibus that we did a couple years back and those are my two prized possessions from general giant studios nice and and talking about general giant studios and um, prized possessions what is the most iconic figure bus that you guys have made um our most iconic figure would it's actually hard to say because they're all kind of iconic under the so nose. many <laughs> But um, it would probably have to be our Macquarie line. We're most no known for our San Diego Comic-Con exclusives um, for the illustrations that Ralph Macquarie did for Star Wars, the original trilogy. And just like over there, our Chewbacca uh, Macquarie concept sold out within 30 minutes of it going on, uh, on sale online on our website. Wow, is that one of the fastest yes. sellouts? Yes, it's one of the fastest. And when that happens, whenever a Macquarie piece goes uh, on online, live on our website, it usually tends to crash our site. And we, you know, amped up our bandwidth and tried to, you know, brace ourselves for that onslaught of people wanting it, and it still, you know, messed our site up. Goodness. Well, I'm not surprised just looking at it. I... I, I was looking at it before, and um. <laughs> it's pretty ugly, isn't it? It's it's pretty, pretty interesting looking, but it's it's an exact sculpt from all the illustrations that uh, Macquarie did back in the day, and it's not the cute, lovable, fluffy uh, Chewbacca that we know from the trilogy, but it is true to form from the illustrations that Macquarie did. Yeah, this is the more true one. I have to say, it does look a little bit scary when yeah, when you look yeah. quite close at him. He is definitely the enforcer, the the big beefy monster with the big gun, helping out Han in the the space pirating days. 
Definitely. So let's move along. Jonah, tell us a little bit about this one. So this is Duratan. Um, it's from the new uh, Warcraft movie by Legendary, and uh, it's it's a pretty interesting piece. I I've seen the movie. I watched um, it about two times now, and we've gotten one fourth and one eighth scale statues of this piece. And a lot of people love those statues so much that they actually wanted smaller mini busts to actually put on their desks and you know there's only so many one fourth scale statues that are like this big that you can have on a bookshelf and you know <laughs> you might want something a little bit smaller you know to actually show off at your office or you know at your man cave or lady cave as you will well the, sm the smaller ones at least you can get more of them on actually yes. you can actually <laughs> fit more on a shelf and you can definitely collect and have a more diverse collection with mini busts Definitely. I'm looking at the back of it and I, I like the detail to the hair and the braids. It's just absolutely amazing. It's so yeah. skilled. It, it's pretty, pretty cool what we can do here at uh, General Giant Studios from having awesome digital sculptors to the amazing uh, paint, paint masters that we have here. It, it's, we, we can do anything that we want. It's just a limit to imagination and production. We like that. And we've got some more so um, just like our uh, superpowers over here, we have our Kenner Jumbo figures, uh, the brown hair and blonde hair Lukes. Uh, again, these guys sold out within uh, about 45 minutes to an hour of them going online. And there's only 250 of these guys made each. So they're extremely limited, and we're only going to have uh, about 100 of these guys at the show. So if you want to get these, Comic-Con is the only place that you can get them now. And so who sold out first, the brunette or the blonde? You know, both of them equally. Like, I, I, it might have been the brunette, but um, the card back on the blonde, a lot, a lot more collectors wanted that one. So, but it was just neck and neck, 45 minutes, just right, done. So these are our Secret Wars Marvel Bobblehead Deadpool 3-packs. And we're going to have a total of four different pieces that you guys can get. And they're going to be blind bags. So you, unfortunately, you'll have to buy two to get the full set. So if you guys come by the booth, um, we'll have, we should have more than enough for everybody. But again, get here early. They're going to be $8 a piece. And show up on time with cash in hand uh, to get these pieces. If these are going to be flying off the shelf. I like them. It's a little bobble heads. <laughs> Anything that moves, I'm all about them. Yeah, stick them on your desktop computer, you know, put them on your dashboard, on your motorcycle, or wherever you want to decorate, or keep them in the box and put them on the shelf. It's excellent, awesome, poppy, fun, explosive coloring. Um, it's definitely cool to see. That's really cool. So I think we've, we've got all of the collectibles that are here now. I'm really excited that I got to come and see some of these amazing pieces that you guys have. And um, do you know, am I allowed to look a little bit out? At, uh, do you know what I saw outside? The Monster Zinc. Oh yeah, you can definitely look at them. I want to go and look at some of them in the corridor. When you first walk in, there's a lot of like big statues. Yeah, the monuments that we produce. They, you, you should definitely take a, take a walk out there and take some video <laughs> thank you so much and it's great i'm going to be stopping by the booth anyway i will be in cosplay i don't know which one yet oh well we did do a little reveal at one point i'm going to be a uh, mary poppins mary poppins okay and the br umbrella and everything i've got my umbrella i've got my carpet bag okay. so um yeah i haven't seen a mary poppins cosplay well i've got the accent okay yeah <laughs> <laughs> And maybe Lady Titan will take, um, bring out an appearance as well. So thank you so much, Chris. And um, if you want to lead us out, we'll go and check out. Come on this way. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. That is scary as hell. Oh. Oh. Look at this. This is his... Is this his regular food? <laughs> um, I'm sitting in front of Jabba the Hutt and... <laughs> imagine this thing crawling. I'd have nightmares over this. It looks like... It's so 
it's so squishy, I know. It is squishy, but it, it looks so lifelike. <laughs> that hair looks really dodgy. It looks like he needs a hair trim. And the tentacles. No. We're going to stick that one there. <laughs> Look, see, I told you there were so many amazing things just here. Look, even all these different sculpted designs. I could just chill out for a bit here, really, couldn't I? But you know, there's so much more stuff that we need to take a look at. I can see some more stuff down here. Right. We all know how much that I love Disney. <laughs> look at this. We're going to skip past them. I want to go straight. Sully. Monster Zinc. Oh, my God. I would just love this in my house. What do you think? We all know about my dog. I've got a boxer dog called Millie. Do you reckon Millie would like to snuggle up with Sully? <laughs> I reckon she'd definitely have something to say about him. Look at this. I think he is, I'm assuming he's six feet tall. Because, yeah, that's how tall I am in, in these shoes right now. So he's from, I think this is from Monsters Inc. University. So he's really super cool. And we know that I've collected a, lo a lot of these in the Funko Pops. Yes, this is the proper big deal. And of course, I like everything that's furry. Flocked. He's very furry. I like him. Oh, even if I just go, he's put his hand behind me. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> he looks just so tiny at the end. Let me come and take a little look. He's even got his school books with him. Do you know what? This hat then, I, I felt that hat. It looked so real. I thought it was cotton. It was a cotton hat. But it's actually so well made. My eyes are deceiving me when you look at this. We've got a lot of Star Wars stuff going on here. Come and take a look. There's Yoda. Look how cute Yoda is. Look at this. A limited edition Gentle Giant. I'm sure I saw this one year at San Diego Comic Con. I definitely, definitely remember seeing Yoda there. So cute. Look at these. Imagine having all of these statues just sitting around. Where would you put it? In the front of your house? In your man cave? <laughs> or your lady cave? I think Millie would love all these. <laughs> Sorry, thank you. See, I'm blocking everyone for leaving. Let's go and have a take a little look at some more. Come over here. <gasps> Stormtroopers. Look at these. There's so many people now that are like Star Wars. I want those Stormtroopers right now in my bedroom. It's so cool. We even got the helmets. So, and look, R2D2. R2 He's <laughs> so cute. I definitely, definitely like these. Oh my god. There's more. He's got more. Oh. They're so scary. I feel I'm going to have nightmares of them tonight. Let's take a look. We've still got some more statues going on. Look at these. Another six foot tall stormtrooper. So they come with little plaques on the base. I wonder if you can still actually buy these. They're all like, we want one. <laughs> There's so much luck. We have a Boba Fett. Look at this one. This is like so super cool. They're all six foot tall. But these statues, you can make them quarter size. You can blow them up to six foot size. The sky's the limit when it comes to gentle giant. <laughs> uh oh. The final big one. Darth 
Vader. Look, he's so big, he's so tall. Now, this one's definitely more than six feet tall. Okay, this one's got to be like eight feet on his own platform. <laughs> what do you think of him? Looking very statuesque. When that voice comes booming out of him, it's just like, oh. <laughs> but, of course, we have got more Disney. And I love Disney. And I love animals. And I see some Sutropolis. She is so cute. Has anyone ever seen Zootropolis? The first bunny to become a police officer. On this sticker on parking tickets. I mean, she's faster than most of them in that Zootropolis. <laughs> <laughs> on the fox, the sly fox that she gets to befriend. This is cool. I love it. It's on a, like a lamppost with this, well, it's a signpost. I'm still Tom, I don't want Zootopia or Sully. Mm. <laughs> I think if these were fairy, they'd definitely <laughs> be getting my vote. She's cute. <laughs> anyway, it's time for me to get going. And I hope that you've enjoyed my visit here at the Gentle Giant headquarters. Keep collecting. <laughs>